Welcome back to the Source Garage. So today we're going to be going over how to undent a wheel brush. So I've got a number of these brushes here. As you can see, this one's pretty flat down the side. Um, there's a groove down the middle of here. I just laid some random parts on these overnight and tried to make a dent on them. Like, what would happen if you're actually using them? People leave them around. Um, accidentally, get, accidentally get squished in shipping sometimes. You'll get one that's received dented. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how I've been trying to repair some of mine um, when occasionally that might happen. So we're going to be using a heat gun here. Um, this is the best thing I've found so far beyond just trying to manually fluff them back into place. But doing, doing this doesn't really uh, work most of the time uh, with trying to get them into place. So we're going to be going over using a heat gun um, and trying to restore these back to their original shape as best as possible. Um, now, before I start this with disclaimer, this can very easily ruin the brushes as well. Uh, so I'm going to go over the technique. I can show you what it, what not to do, basically, uh, and then how I do it to try and restore shape to these by applying a little bit of heat to get the bristles uh, to re-straighten to their original position. Um, so I'm going to zoom in and we'll go through and show you what I do. All right. So what we're going to try and do with the heat gun is essentially turn it on a low setting and try and very gently, uh, from a far distance, kind of do a very light basically this kind of slow sweeping motion. And I'll try and bring it up on the camera to show you here. But if you go too fast, what can happen, and let me see if I have an example here because I was testing this out before. If I can show in here. These bristles in here will coil up really tight. And because what we're basically doing is heating up this synthetic material and causing it to re-straighten. But what will happen if you leave the heat gun on too long is it'll crinkle up, basically shrink um, and melt into this little ball of, of nastiness here. So the key here is really being very slow, very methodic, um, and not leaving too much heat on. You can always keep going with more heat, but do not apply too much heat. So I'm going to try and give a quick example here. You can see the kind of gap down the middle of the brush here. So I'm going to see if we can get this to fix itself here with a little bit of heat. And you can see them starting to come together. Couple more passes. Just a little better. So now there's not so much of a gap running down the center of the brush. You can see it's kind of flush now. So we brought the, the fins, or the, not the fins, the fibers back together here. So now they, they still retain their stiffness once they cool back down, but I wouldn't beat on them too much until they've cooled for a bit. It takes a second. So. Anyway, that's one side here. Now this side, let me see if I can show you this. This got really matted. So I have a whole side here, it's very matted down. So when I heat these up, I'm gonna see if this whole side kinda, see if we can get a before and after. So this is flat down the top here. I'm gonna see if I can get it to get kind of its roundness back to it. So again, low setting, gonna go very slow, far away. See if I'm back up here and try and give you a better shot of this. So you can see the fibers starting to move back into shape. Very slow, far distance. I think that's good. So now you can see we've got our round shape back. It's not completely matted down anymore. And well, it's still pretty warm. I can feel the heat coming off it, so I'm not going to touch it too much, but yeah. So again, this is what happens. This was the example from before. If you leave it for too long, it curls up into a nasty little knot, so that's not usable. So very slow, very far away, and this looks almost new again. So we've got our round shape back. <coughs> All right. Now I'll just go through some more examples here, but really that's it. Um, I'll just keep giving some more examples of the technique. This is another popular brush off Amazon. So there's a gap down the middle here. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera. I'm trying to... So I'm going to take this gap down the middle here and try and fill this in. See if how close I can get. So you can see them come together. There we go. So you probably saw them move a lot right in here. 
So they were tr that's the, the heat getting to them, pulling them back together. So again, got our shape back, no more groove in the middle. So these two brushes are very similar uh, in the material and the layout. They're very fanned out, very fluffed up very much. Um, these two are more, let me see if I can, yeah, there you go, you can see it, that angle. See all the gapping here? So it's very much uh, segmented more so in a spiral around the uh, entire design. So I'm gonna fill in this gap here. You can see right down the middle. Let's see if I can show it this way. There, now you can see the channel running through here. So I just supposed to put a piece of metal stock down the middle here and let it sit overnight. So let me see if I can do it like this. See if you can watch it come together. Oh, also, uh, there's not a whole lot of segmenting. So like up here, you see this gapping there. Here it's kind of more fluffed. It's stuck together more from that. You can't see the gaps in between the black as you can the blue. That's from the, the weight that was on it, so it's messed up. So let's see if we can get that shape back here. Again, slower is better. Don't try and rush it. And you're not going to aim for 100% perfection back to normal because that's probably not going to happen. You're more likely to ruin it. But done an all right job there. Trying to get some more. See, now you can see a little bit of the gapping back there. So it did an all right job. This one didn't come back together as nicely as the other ones. Because those, right, this one has the, it's more segmented, so it's more obvious that it's not back to the way it should be. Um, versus the other ones are just all fluff and solid the whole way through, so those look a lot better after this. And then lastly, let's see, can I even tell where I had the gap on this one? This one held its shape pretty well. I don't think I put enough weight on it. So this one, I think the gap is right here. It's very, very, very slight, but I can see a, a place where they fanned out in the middle here just barely. So I'm going to try and bring those back together. And I already got them back. I can see the grooves gone. So that's really it. That's all there is to this. So that's really all there is to it. Just heat gun, slow movement, slow passes, trying to keep your distance about a foot away. Um, watch for very little movement to bring them back together. Don't go too fast. You'll clump them up and, and ruin the brush. But I think you can do this just about any of these synthetic uh, plastic bristle brushes. So I hope this help, helps somebody uh, try and restore their brush to the original shape it was in. If you get a bad one from shipping, exactly what you can do to start off with a, a nice well-shaped brush. So that's all I got for today. Not one of my long rambling videos like most of the stuff on my channel. So. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more of these tips coming out, some more information. I have a new video on the wheel stand coming out soon that everyone's been asking about. So uh, thanks for watching.